it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I get a lot of questions on my stickers and I use the stickers for a couple different things. I mean, obviously stickers, but also like on cake toppers where I have a lot of detail, for instance, like Alice here, um, where I can't, with that small of a, of a character, I can't do it on cardstock, then I wanna be able to do a print and cut and I use the sticker paper and then I put it on cardstock and then it goes on my cake toppers uh, or whatever other decor that I'm doing. Um, so anyway, let's break this down first and then I'm gonna show you where to get everything. So there are two types of products that I like from Nita Labels. <laughs> the first one, this is my clear favorite, is the super glossy waterproof full sheet. So it comes in, it's white, um, and this is what it looks like. So I left everything as is, and sorry, I know with the light, it's uh, you're gonna hit the glare, but I wanted to leave it on here because people have so many questions about the print and cut feature um, from Cricut and the black registration marks and bleed on, bleed off. <laughs> so I wanna show you that, but so this is the white label. Let me show you what the clear one looks like. I did the same, but on clear. So you can't really tell on here where you can tell is here. Let me show you these stickers. And we'll get back to these beautiful stickers from Mommy Lay. I'm like fangirling big time. Okay, so this is uh, Charlotte's little stickers that she uses to whenever we need to personalize something really quickly. This is on the white, and this is the clear. You can't tell really on here the difference. The only thing I did notice is the colors come out a little bit different for me, but when I did the Alice stickers, the colors look exactly the same. So let me show you what it looks like when you have it on white paper. So this is the same purple. This is white on white, so you can see the white prints out. Um, I mean, it shows more on the white paper as opposed to the clear paper. Where the clear is different is um, where there was white or what was, you know, is now clear. It shows through and you can see the cardstock. Can't really see it on white. I wanted to show you though. But here's how you can see it on blue. So this is obviously on white sticker paper and this is on clear. So wherever it is clear, it's gonna take on the color of the background of your paper. So the, that's the difference between the two. It prints out beautifully no matter what. All right, let's talk about the sticker papers um, or the stickers themselves. So people freak out when they see this, the bleed on. So what happens, what bleed on is, is it gives you it prints out just an extra layer almost to in the way I would explain it is however the sticker is that last border it's going to give you an extra thick border so that way when design space when your Cricut cuts it um, you don't get a white um, a white border you get whatever color it is so uh, for instance like if you see her hair it kind of looks weird right here because it has like a mix of the colors. But let me show you what that sticker looks like when you peel it. So when you peel it, so my my Cricut needs to be re, uh, realigned, but you can see the excess stays on the paper. It just gives it extra room for it to cut. I'm gonna put this back because it's so stinking cute. Okay, so I cut it on washi tape. Um, that's the setting that I cut it on. I let it cut through once, I hit the C, I don't take it out, I hit the C, it cuts again, and sometimes I need to cut it a third time. So what happens is then I lift up before I pull it, you know, before I um, hit the arrow for the mat to come out, I lift up the paper a little bit, <laughs> and normally it comes out, there we go. To make sure that my cut well don't mind that one because that's the one I put back down but so you can see it lifts up but it stays the full sheet stays on here um, if I cut one more time then I can have oh man that was not a good peel it took off this whole sticker let me take that off real quick that's so cute. So 
uh, look at that. I mean, the stickers are so beautiful. Um, I'll tell, we'll go over the print settings and everything as well. But right now, let's just look at everything. <clears throat> so here I pulled off the, you know, the sheet already, the excess. So what's left are just my stickers. And then this one, I still have it on. So this is um, on clear. And let me show you what that looks like. I mean, these stickers are so beautiful. Lay does such a great, great job. And uh, even though I'm much older than her, I want to be her when I grow up. <laughs> okay, so here we go. You can kind of see on here, you can see a little bit of the outline of the colors, right? So that's just so that it gives uh, your machine a little bit of wiggle room to cut it without having a white border. So you can see my stickers here are all, you know, have the full color. And let me lift this up so that you don't get that glare. Oh, look how beautiful that is. I just love it. Okay, let's put this away. Um, so here, here's another good example of with the bleed on, you could see like the bows and the cat, like it's an extra thick line. But when you pull up this sheet, that all goes away. It just lets the Cricut, again, just gives you the Cricut wiggle room to cut and give you a beautiful sticker. Sorry, here we go. Look how cute these stickers are. So you can see, I mean, they come out so beautifully. And I, so I used to print stuff on, so I have a work, uh, an Epson Workforce 7720. I've had it for years. I don't even know how much I paid for it. Um, or anything like that. Um, but I used to just use it and I don't know, I didn't use it that much because it just didn't print out that well, but it all depends on your materials and your settings. Cause look at this, this is just, these look like store-bought stickers. I mean, first of all, they did a great job <laughs> designing it. They're just absolutely adorable, but okay. So I'm going to flip it now that you've seen it, now that you believe that you should do bleed on, um, the only time that I don't do bleed on is for instance, um, I have a sublimation printer. So, um, if I'm just hand cutting things, then I don't want the bleed on cause I'm not, I don't need that. I just need the whole thing and then I'm going to heat it on. So that's the only time that I can think of where you don't need that on. All right. So I'm going to flip the screen. So give me a second. Let me, um, what do I want to do? I want to go to... Ooh, I know I have a huge order right now. So my craft room is a hot mess. Okay. So, oops, here we go. Give me one more second. I am going to move myself to the corner. Okay. Needle labels, hands down, amazing product. Um, right now they're having a current, they're having a sale. So the code is June 50. You get 50% off for a 10 sheet pack. I'll be honest with you. I have hundreds of sheets of paper that I personally bought. Uh, so the 50% off, I, I feel like, no, don't do that one. Do the 25% off for the bigger packet. You're going to love it. Um, if you use my link, I would greatly appreciate it, but don't use my code because my code doesn't give you the big discount. So use my link, but use this code June 25 for 25% off all orders. All right, let's go to the beautiful Mommy Lay. This is her Instagram. So you can see she does, um, here are her Alice stickers so that you can find her, but if you want to buy her stickers, it's here. I was so excited to get these um, stickers, get my hands on them because they're just absolutely adorable. Okay, let's go to our printer settings. Well, let me show you what design space looks like. So this is mine. I just printed this this afternoon so you can see what they look like. I'll put it on here. So it came out exactly like that, right? So let me click on print. So these are already printed. You can see it says that. But if you were, let's say we already did this and I want to print them a, another set, I would just click on where it says printed, send to printer again, and then you can just print as many times as you want to. 
Um, so I want to add bleed, okay? And then um, that's it. It prints out like this. You want to put it on your mat in this same order. Don't flip it upside down or put it on the side. It wants you to put it here at the zero, zero corner and lay it down, okay? Let's talk about printer settings. So before you do that, let's go over here and go into our printers and scanners. And it's my Epson Workforce 7720, see? You wanna manage, and you wanna to go to printer properties, and you wanna make sure that all your settings show that you're doing a high uh, quality print, okay? So over here, you're gonna to go to preferences, And it will pop up in a second, unless I, oh, there it is. Okay, so you wanna go to paper quality. I clicked glossy paper, and then you wanna go to advanced. And you wanna make sure that your print quality is 600 by 600. My other option is 300 by 300. And then you also wanna do your output quality is high quality as opposed to normal. And that is it and then you wanna save everything and then you can print. Um, that's, that's it. And then once you print everything, so I always, I print everything first. So let's say you did this, you printed this one. Then I click on this one and I'm gonna to go to printed and send to printer, add bleed, everything's good. I'm just gonna click print. So I'm gonna go through and do all of these and this is what it looks like in the canvas um so i had already resized these but this is how it comes out you can see i mean they look exactly the way she designed them they printed it out that way i mean they're just stinking adorable um if you want to make your own stickers so that's separate i do ha i'll show you really quickly the main thing is here, let's, I'm gonna delete all this. Sorry, let me get my keyboard out. Okay. I'm just gonna do something silly. I'm gonna type in happy birthday, okay? And let's just say you wanna do this. Uh, I'm gonna change the color, give me a second. Okay, we're changing it to purple. And then, um, all right, so let's go to make it. Just, oh, first, sorry. If you wanna do a sticker, you need to flatten it. So I'm gonna flatten it, and I'm gonna go to make it. So I didn't put a background behind it, right? So what happens is when you go to cut this, so let's um, click on a continue. So you can't really see it here, but it gets really big. Like the letters are really fat. What that means is it's gonna cut around each letter. So you're gonna have a separate H, a separate A, P, P, Y. You don't want that because how are you gonna put this down on whatever it is that you want, right? What you want is instead, let's go and cancel. We're gonna cancel out of this. So I'm gonna save this, okay, and then I'm gonna duplicate it. So on this one, I'm gonna unflatten it for a second, and I'm just gonna put behind it, okay, a, a, circle, a square. I'm gonna unlock it, because you always want a full background, so then it's gonna cut a square or a rectangle behind. Um, so on this one, you're going to go to Arrange, Send to the Back, and let's make it a blue, just so that you can see it, okay? So let's say we want that. We're going to flatten, and then we're gonna have an issue with the size, because this is 11 and a half. Sorry, I have this on, just so that you can see what it really looks like. So you're limited by 6.75 and nine and a quarter. So one of your lengths has to be smaller than 6.75 and the other one less than 9.25. So as long as we get this down to 9.25, we should be fine. All right, so now what would happen is 
Instead of it cutting each individual letter, it will cut the rectangle and you would have one sticker as opposed to, let's go to make it so you can see what it looks like. Um, okay, it's slowing down, so. So see the difference is on this sticker, it's gonna cut all the, just the blue. It's gonna cut around the blue. On the happy birthday, because there is nothing behind it, it's cutting each individual letter. You don't wanna be putting this, I mean, there are times when you're gonna want individual letters. Let's say you were making an alphabet, um, but other than that, I'm, I'm struggling as to when you would want separate pieces. You would want one sticker, right? Just as if you had this Alice sticker, you don't want the hair cutting out her headband and then her shirt and her arm. You want this to be one circle sticker. So that's what flattening it all together does for you. <laughs> all right, that was supposed to be a quick tutorial. I'm gonna go, let me know what you wanna see, but that's to get you the best print quality um, with the best products so that you have beautiful stickers that literally look like you went to Joann's and bought them. All right, see you guys next time.